Right, I call the member for New England. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Deputy Speaker. And uh, before I talk about what I hope, what I wanted to talk about, I'll just say that it's absolutely ridiculous. I think the Prime Minister, and I'm no you know, big punter for anybody around here, but I think the Prime Minister's got more responsibility than anyone ever presumed a uh, Prime Minister would have. I mean, he's dealing with probably one of the greatest crises of our time, and uh, and I think that for the cards he's been dealt, he's doing a pretty good job. But the issue that I think is really important is we should go the full hog in making sure that this parliament has the capacity to, for people to affect their vote from outside it. If we believe in decentralisation, then we believe in remote voting. I said this in my first maiden speech in the other place when the SARS epidemic was going around. This is not the first time we've had a pandemic in that we've had to deal with. Obviously, this one's vastly more extensive. But we just don't want to put our feet completely in the water or jump completely in the water to how we can actually vote. If I can move millions of dollars around, if I had it, from one account to another, then surely I can press yes or no on a keyboard from Tamworth. I mean, we can't have a parliament with this sort of set up with a few people in here and the other people watching, but they're not allowed to vote. I mean, it's just clumsy. We've got to, on both sides, say, let's do this properly. And I know the reason that we don't do it that way is because we want the whips to have control of the vote. That's why it's, this is, so we live in this twilight zone. So let's do it properly. Let's make it happen and show the Australia how we can be smarter about it.